you can actually disable mobile data for data guzzling apps. If you have Wi-Fi internet access at home, especially if it's unlimited internet, of course, all your apps, all your services can run at that time without impact on your spending. Where spending becomes a critical thing is with mobile data, especially when you are out of the house or out of the office and have no access to your unlimited internet via Wi-Fi. And then that is when the high consumption of apps like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, maybe even Twitter come to play. Those are some of the top data consuming apps on my smartphone for my personal usage. And I can imagine for a lot of people, it's that rabbit hole thing. You get on TikTok and video after video after video, you get on Instagram, the same thing. For some people, YouTube. Fortunately for me, YouTube is work. So that's fine. Now, what's the point I'm making? You can actually disable mobile data for those data guzzling apps so that when you are away from Wi-Fi coverage, from unlimited internet via Wi-Fi, those apps do not work and do not consume any of your mobile data. But as soon as you step back into your office or into your home where you have the Wi-Fi connection, those apps start working all of a sudden. Now, the beauty of it is this. I say to people, when I go out, say that I'm going out to run an errand, or I'm going out for an appointment, or I'm going out to go hang out, or I'm going out to go dance, I'm going out to do something. Do I really need to have TikTok and Instagram and Facebook running while I am out and about? The answer to that is simple, right? Personally, I don't. And the, the interesting thing about these apps is that many times they are running in the background, even if you don't open them, they are running in the background and consuming your data anyway. So here is how I successfully turned off mobile data for these specific apps. Go to the settings of your Android smartphone, type data usage in the search, in the search box, right? And then you can see the apps that are chopping your data, okay? So under network assistant, look for network management, type on that. And here you are with the list of all your apps. And you can see there are two columns on the right, one for mobile data, one for Wi-Fi. Most apps, as you can see, have both mobile data and Wi-Fi turned on. But when you get to Facebook here, you can see that mobile data is off. I could turn it on by tapping on that, but I prefer to leave it off. What this means is that when I'm outside of the house and outside of work where I have Wi-Fi access, Facebook does not work. If you scroll down, you will see that Instagram also has the mobile data option disabled. And if you scroll down to TikTok, I have the mobile data option disabled. I think I should do it for X as well. I don't spend a lot of time any longer on X. There's really nothing going on there for me. I don't know, maybe I should leave it. It's just there, but this is the idea. Whenever I am out of Wi-Fi uh, coverage, every other app works, except for this one that I have disabled mobile data for. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi now and then launch TikTok so that you can see what happens. TikTok says data consumption this month, 12.24 gigabytes. TikTok has been banned from using mobile networks. Do you want to lift this restriction? Of course, the option to lift the restriction is there if you absolutely need to use it while you're out and about. I'll just tap on lift and follow the process to get it connected to mobile network and I get my job done. Let's see for Instagram as well. 
see couldn't refresh feed it says instagram has been banned this is because i am on mobile data now if i turn on my wi-fi back and then try to access these apps again see it works as before no problem instagram is working as before not a problem so that's it guys that's how to turn off or disable mobile data for specific apps in your phone mobile data is costly really really costly so if this applies to you please use it thank me later i'll see you in my next video